Hi, my name is Ed Zaworski, and in this short video, I'm going to discuss taking samples of various conifer or evergreen trees. When you're collecting a sample for a tip blight or needle cast disease, um, here's the, the proper sample to collect is something like this that's showing symptoms here. So it's this, this particular case, we're looking at rhizosphere needle cast on blue spruce, but we're seeing browning needles, but the limb is not completely dead. A bad sample to send would be something like this, where there's no needles left on the, on the tree, or very few, and the, uh, the limb is almost completely dead. We won't be able to tell you much from this. We're gonna go ahead and take a sample here. And uh, so get your pruning tools out clip off a sample. As far as size of the sample goes, this is pretty good. What I typically recommend to people is something that's about the length of your forearm because that's something that can be easily packaged and sent to us in the clinic. The alternative to bringing the samples directly here would be to mail them to us. To correctly package samples, we like to wrap the samples in some kind of plastic bag, place that bag into a box, and then mail those samples priority overnight to us. Uh, the last consideration to make when mailing samples is to mail samples early in the week. If samples are mailed late in the week, they can often sit over the weekend and deteriorate. Final words of wisdom from the clinic, don't run with your clippers.